along this video join me as we continue to learn how to manage our money better by using lessons from this book which that were done by robert yosaki and i've been doing this for a while this is video number 58 join me hello welcome to take a step to a better you on this channel i share what i know and continue to learn and this one, I'm sharing lessons from the book Richard Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, video number 58. If you are new, my name is Sherifa Nakarema, I'm a business owner here in Virginia, USA. And on this channel, I share YouTube tips, business tips, and even online tips. But though that will be specific through affiliate marketing. And then motivation. I ask you to take a step to make your life better in those. And then this kind, like today, I share books, a book that I know changes lives. That's the only book I'll share. We started just this one. Uh, I mean, this uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad book by Robert Kiyosaki. And this is video number 58. So if any of that sounds interesting, please consider subscribing to this channel and sharing and liking. And for those of you who already said yes to this message, uh, yeah, you came back, appreciate you very much. And for you, I think you've already subscribed and, and you know you have to like. I'm asking for 50 likes. It hasn't happened. 50 likes on every video before I bring another one. That has not happened. Please like the video, especially if you come on a premiere. Uh, but even if you come later, please like the video, hoping uh, you, you really like the video. And now, at this point, let me share the schedule. I'm here daily. I'm here daily. Daily, I'm sharing books, books like this, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and then that's at 11 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time, U.S. Eastern Time. So that's very important because that's how you know the differences in time. And you can search in Google, what is U.S. Eastern Time, 11 a.m., that's the equivalent, yeah, that's your time. And then that's daily. On Friday, I come as a premiere, uh, sorry, as a live. I come as a live. These videos, I, I premiere them. Premiering means the, we all wait and watch the, watch the video for the first time together. But live, I'm there, live. So we are chatting, I'm live. That's the difference. So on Friday, I'm live. Daily, on the other days, I'm just premiering videos. I'm in the chat. So that's 11 a.m. And then 11.30, only on Thursdays and on Sundays. On Thursdays, I come with the second video. That would be on YouTube tips or business tips. Then on Sunday, that would be a message. I call it a motivational message that's for everyone. The message is take a step to make your life better. I've choose the topic, I talk about that, but that's my intention to ask you to take a step. Now, recently I made a change because I'm recording this in Ramadan, so I'm fasting and we have limited time. So I defy you to be more detailed, but now I say please find these other details. If it's the first time you came here, you find me reading this book, please. These details, uh, I'm not sharing them anymore. I just put links to them. The link, uh, the first detail is all the videos from number one to 50, including this one actually, 58, they're all in one playlist. It's a playlist. I call it Lessons from, uh, from Robert Kiyosaki. At the end of this screen on this one, uh, you find that link, you click on it, or it's in the description, or it's in the playlist. You can click on that and find all the other videos. And those other videos have more details, like who Robert Kiyosaki is, what's his mission, uh, why this book was named Rich Dad Poor Dad, all those details, please find them in the previous videos. The links I uh, just mentioned. And then also how you get this book. There's a link, how you get it, audio is free on, on Amazon for one month. Uh, all the details and the previous videos. And then also if you want to buy the book, it's, uh, you see my website, honestsold.com. I have a page. I call it Amazon Deals. That's where you find it. It's called, it looks like this. You click on it. You can go buy the book. Now that I got that out of the way, right now, these videos, I just focus on the new message only. The new message only. The new message in here is video number 58. We are continuing with the, continuing with the 10 steps. Remember, Robert gave us the 10 steps to develop your God-given power. We're talking about money. The whole thing is about money. So 10 steps to develop your God-given power. I covered four already. This is number five. So video 58 is about 
the step number five, which is pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. That's the message we have today. Like in your life, if you want to be successful, according to Robert, pay yourself first. So let's see what he says about that. He says, pay yourself first the power of self-discipline. It's like a subtitle. And this is point number five. Remember, out of ten. This is what he writes. If you cannot get control of yourself, do not try to get rich. It, it, takes, it makes no sense to invest, make money, and blow it, blow it. It is the lack of self-discipline that causes most lottery winners to go broke soon after winning millions. It is the lack of self-discipline that causes people who get a raise to immediately go out and buy a new car or take a cruise. It is difficult to say which of the 10 steps is the most important. But of all the steps, this step is probably the most difficult to master if it's not already a part of your makeup. I would venture to say that personal self-discipline is the number one delineating, uh, delineating, delineating factor. I think you know the word. Uh, I'm not very familiar with it. I've had it, but I never read it like the way. I, that's why I'm struggling to read it. I would venture to say that personal discipline is the number one delineating factor between the rich, the poor, and the middle class. Simply put, people who have low self-esteem and low tolerance for financial pressure can never be rich. As I have said, a lesson learned from my rich dad was that the world will push you around. The world pushes people around, not because other people are bullies, but because the individual, the individual lacks internal control and discipline. People who lack internal fortitude often become victims of those who have self-discipline. In the entrepreneurial class I teach, I constantly remind people to not focus on their product, service, or widget, but to focus on developing management skills. The three most important management skills necessary to start your own business are the management of cash flow, is number one. Number two, people. Number three, personal time. So you have to know how to manage cash flow, people, and personal time. I would, I would say the skill to manage these three apply to anything, not just entrepreneurship, uh, not to just entrepreneurs. The three matter in the way you live your life as an individual or as part of a family, a business, a charitable organization, a city, or a nation. Each of these skills is enhanced by the mastery of self-discipline and not take the same pay yourself first lightly. The statement, pay yourself first, comes from George Klassen's book, The Richest Man in Babylon. Millions of copies have been sold, but while millions of people freely repeat the, that powerful statement, few follow the advice. As I said, financial literacy allows one to read numbers. And numbers tell the story. By looking at a person's income statement and balance sheet, I can readily see if people who spell the words pay yourself first actually practice that, what they preach. Now, he had two diagrams, and he wrote, he showed two diagrams, but the diagrams don't really matter even if you don't see them. What he's showing is that the people who pay themselves first, they have assets. And those who don't pay themselves first, they don't. So that's what uh, the diagrams he has on this page. So I'm skipping that. And he says that I can, as you can see from those diagrams, individual who choose, individuals who choose to pay themselves first, each month they allocate money to their asset column before they pay their monthly expenses. Although millions of people have read Carson's book and understand the word pay yourself first, in reality, they pay themselves last, themselves last. Now I can hear the howls from those of you, I mean, he means all of you, those of you or me, the people reading the book, who sincerely believe in paying your bills first. So it's talking about people who believe in paying your bills first, not pay yourself first. And I can hear all of the responsible people who pay their bills on time. I'm not saying be irresponsible and not pay your bills. All I'm saying is do what the book says, which is, Pay yourself first. And the previous diagram, okay, he's talking about uh, the previous diagram because the person who paid themselves first, they have assets. 
and the person who did it uh, has nothing. If you can truly begin to understand the power of cash flow, you will soon realize that you uh, that you will soon realize what's wrong with the previous diagram, or why ninety percent of people work hard all their lives and need government support like social security when they are no longer able to work. Kim and I have. Uh, have had many bookkeepers, accountants, and bankers who have had a major problem with this way of looking at pay yourself first. The reason is that these financial professionals actually do not do what the masses do. They pay themselves last. There have been times in my life when, for whatever reason, cash flow was far less than my bills. I still paid myself first. My, my accountant and bookkeeper screamed in panic. They are going to come after you. The IRS is going to put you in jail. You are going to ruin your credit rating. They'll put, uh, they'll cut off your electricity. I still paid myself first. Why? You ask. Because that's what the story, the richest man in Babylon was all about. The power of self-discipline and the power of internal fortitude. As my rich dad taught me, the first month I worked for him, most people allow the world to push them around. A bill collector calls you, calls and you you pay, uh, uh, calls and you pay or else. A sales clerk says, "Oh, put just put in, put it on your charge card." Your re real estate agent tells you, "Go ahead." The government allows you a tax deduction in your home. Okay, all these people are giving you wrong advice. That's why he's quoting them. That's what. The book is really about having the guts to go against the tide and get rich. You may not be weak, but when it comes to money, many people get wimpy. I'm not saying be irresponsible. The reason I don't have high credit card debt and do, the, do that debt, you know, do that is spending money on things that are just, just fun to have, but you shouldn't have because them do that. I'm not saying be irresponsible. The reason I don't have high credit card debt and do that debt is because I pay myself first. The reason I, min I minimize my income is because I don't want to pay to pay to the government. That is why my income comes from my assets through a Nevada corporation. If I work for money, the government takes it. Remember I told us the power of the corporation, we covered that in the lesson. This lesson, uh, this video will be a little bit longer than the previous one too, because I have to finish one topic for every, uh, one point. These 10 steps, I have to finish it. So I'll continue reading. Uh, we are still on the pay yourself first. Although I pay my bills last, I'm financially astute enough to not get into a tough financial situation. I don't like consumer debt. I actually have liabilities, but are higher, they're higher than 99% of the population, but I don't pay for them. Other people pay for my liabilities. They are called tenants. That means we have, uh, like real estate, um, tenants pay, pay for all those loans, whatever he has, maybe mortgages. So rule number one is paying yourself in paying yourself first is don't get into consumer debt in the first place. Although I pay my bills last, I set it up to have only small and important bills that are due. When I occasionally come up short, I still pay myself first. I let the creditors and even the government scream. I like it when they get tough. Why? Because those guys do me a favor. They inspire me to go out and create more money. So I pay myself first. So I pay myself first, invest the money, and let the creditors yell. I generally pay them right away anyway. Kim and I have excellent credit. You just don't cave in to pressure and spend ourselves. We just don't cave in pressure and spend our savings or liquidate stocks to pay their, the consumer debt. That's not true financial intelligence. Okay. Uh, what he's saying there is that don't use your money you save to invest to just to pay the regular bills. Like, uh, he's saying you have to have the self-discipline to know that you pay yourself fast. Invest the money, and then if you don't have enough, go out and figure out how to make more money to pay those other bills. That's how I interpret this. Oh, that's me, by the way. It's not in the book. Okay, he says, that's why I said I have to, to finish this point. 
because I don't want to break it up. To successfully pay yourself first, keep the following in mind. He has some points for you. He says, number one, don't get into large debt. Don't get into large debt position that you have to pay for. Keep your expenses low. Build up assets first, then buy the big house or nice car. Being stuck in the rat race is not intelligent. So when you make money, don't go for the nice car and the big house first. First, make sure your investments uh, are bringing some extra cash flow. Then you can get into the, those very nice things. That's me. Okay. Number two. When you, uh, number two, to successfully pay yourself first, keep the following in mind. Point number two is when you can come up short, that when you don't have enough money, let the pressure build and don't dip into your savings or investment. Use the pressure to inspire your financial genius to come up with new ways of making more money and then pay your bills. You will have increased your ability to make more money as well as your financial intelligence. So many times I have gotten into financial hot water and used my brain to create more income while structuring, defending the assets by defining the assets in my asset column. My bookkeeper has screamed and dived for cover, but I was like a good soldier defending the fort, fort assets. I mean, he has he protects his assets. Uh, pe uh, poor people have poor habits. A common bad habit is innocent record dipping into savings. The rich know that savings are only used to create more money, not to pay bills. I know that sounds tough, but as I said, if you are not tough inside, the world will always push you around anyway. If you do not like financial pressure, then find a formula that works for you. A good one is to cut expenses, put your money in the bank, pay more than you pay your fair share of income tax, buy a safe mutual fund, and take the vow of the average. But this violates the pay yourself first rule. What he just said there is what most people do. Let me read it again. You cut expenses, put your money in the bank, pay um, more than your fair share of taxes, and buy safe mutual funds. That means you're going to be average. So that's not good advice, according to him. The last paragraph. This rule does not encourage self-sacrifice or financial abstinence. It doesn't mean pay yourself fast and starve. Life was meant to be enjoyed. If you call on your financial genius, you can have all the goodies of life, get rich and pay bills. And that is financial intelligence. This is worth repeating because this is what he wants you to do. This rule of pay yourself first encourages self-sacrifice or financial abstinence. Uh, this rule does not encourage self-sacrifice or financial abstinence. It doesn't mean pay yourself fast and starve. Life was meant to be enjoyed. If you call on your financial genius, you can have all the goodies of life, get rich and pay bills. And that is financial intelligence. I don't know how this video is going, long it's going to be, but uh, now I finished. Point number five, pay yourself fast. And remember I said, that's all I do. I read the point and that's the end of Video number 58, video number 59, I'll, I'll go to the next point, which is point number six. Please like the video. Hopefully you got something out of there. And also leave, leave a comment, leave a comment, like, leave a comment, share. Share these videos, especially with younger people. They say young people still have an open mind. The older ones, they already figured it out. They don't want a new one. I don't know. Some people say that. I believe it a little bit. People are set in their ways. Some of them don't want to change anything. When you are someone who's younger, they say younger, 30 or younger, they are more likely to take this kind of information. But the older ones, they hear it, but they don't really take action. Is that true? Do you believe it? I don't know. Please leave a comment, like the video. Like I always end them, I say, take very good care of yourself. Take very good care of your families. Take very good care of your health. Take a step to a better you. Bye-bye.